So let me know what you think in the comments below and give me an idea and some feedback about what do you think about the new way of teaching. So gases are very special because when it comes to the volume of the gas, we can see that equal volumes of all gases, when measured at the same temperature and pressure, contain an equal number of particles. It means you can have a specific number of moles of gas and you can convert it to a specific number of liters and grams depending on the molecular weight and the atomic weight of the gas or the specific atoms the gas is made out of. Usually on the IMAT exam they will give you a system in STP. STP stands for standard temperature and pressure. At standard temperature and pressure one mole of gas has a volume of 22.4 liters. Our system will have the temperature of 0 Celsius, which is also 273 Kelvin, and we will usually, most of the times, we'll use Kelvin because it will give you the absolute temperature. And many systems use Kelvin because the 0 Kelvin is the absolute zero of the kinetic energy of the atoms in the system. The pressure of the system will be 100 kilopascals. So this was just a general introduction of what STP is. So now when we know one mole of any gas, let's say oxygen, equals to 22.4 liters, we are now able to convert the units using the method I'm going to show you. So basically, let's say you have 32 grams of oxygen and we need to convert it to liters. How are we going to do that? So, we do know that one mole of oxygen or any other gas is equal to 22.4 liters. So we will have to convert the number of grams to the number of moles and wh when we will have the number of moles we can multiply it by 22.4 to get the actual number of liters the amount of liters we can expect from the amount of grams. So using the periodic table we can see that oxygen equals 16 molecular oxygen equals 32 because we have two oxygen in the molecule. If we have 32 grams of oxygen, and we know the molecular weight of molecular oxygen is 32, you can divide them by each other to get the number of moles of oxygen. And when you have one mole, we know we have 22.4 liters of molecular of oxygen. Let's take another example. The molecular weight of helium is 4. Assuming that we have, let's say, 95 grams of helium, and we want to get the number of liters and the number of moles. How are we going to do that? So we will have to divide 95 by the atomic mass of helium in order to get 23.75 which are actually the number of moles of helium 95 grams of helium will give us. So now we have 23.75 moles of helium we can multiply it by 22.4 why are we multiplied by 22.4? Because we know if 1 mole equals to 22.4 liters, 23.75 times the number 1 mole equals to will give us the number of moles 23.75 moles of helium will yield. And we will get 532 liters of helium gas.